Can I? Yep. I can. What am I on? What am I on? Right, okay. Okay, I'm past it. I'm past it. Oh. Right. So they've now got access to these. Let's just try and make the place a little bit safer. Right. Finally. Let's recycle. And then, yeah, lock and load. Hi all, and welcome to the video. Right, we're back, and I've done a little bit on the upgrades and ammo. As you can see, I've got plenty of pistol ammo there. Uh, quite a bit, actually, on shotgun as well now. Make sure that's reloaded. We already had a fair bit of uh, stuff on this one. I did some upgrades on other weapons, so for instance on this one now. Apart from the reload speed, I've, I've kind of maxed that out. This is maxed out. Pistol is maxed out. And also, in Euro mods, uh, we're full-on engineer. So I, I took these. Because I had 15 Euro mods, if you remember. So I thought, well, let's just damn well spend them. So, uh, as you can see, I've got uh, reduced stamina cost. Wrench attacks 50% more damage and 25% to do bonus damage. But apparently even with that and with the... Ooh, is it engineer? Yeah, even with these, lab tech 1, 2 and 3, you still can't upgrade the wrench. It just it just does not do. So, that's us. Now, uh, let's go back to a slightly smaller mesh. And objectives. Yeah, keys to the king. Fabricate your arming key. I don't really want to do that. That's main story. And what if I don't want to do that? Who is December? That just leaves... Do this. This, we've got to go back to the chef. However, that's going to be difficult. But he's not the real chef. He's an escaped psychopath. So the question is... Should we? I've got to listen to this in the lobby with... Michaela, she is not going to be pleased because whoever Morgan you used to be, he's not that guy anymore. Um, there's this one, missing engineer. We never did find here. This for installing a water thing. I don't think that's going to help. The drop points. There was something about banging a machine and this finding that. So I would like to get on with that. However... If you look at the map, we go to the station map, we're locked out of all the areas. We pretty much spent all that time unlocking. The only way back to the Arboretum, in fact, is via the guts again, which I'm kind of cheesed off about. I can get to life support, and life support, apparently there's a mission in there. I can't. It doesn't tell me what mission that is, or the power plant. So, yeah, I kind of want to go life support, see if we can get in here unlock that again that's another one unlocked but i can't get from the car go bay to there so we're kind of stuck i don't know how to to do anything except maybe get to the power plant there's we can't get to the arboretum via the exterior and i can't get into the guts because i can't get into either of those two so at the minute we're just locked off in the cargo bay unless i can find a way to get through there more where that came from. Yeah, they, they, they don't become a hero. Uh, there's still stuff inside there. We were going to charge off and do stuff, I think. Did I? Yeah. There's probably a lot easier way of getting in here and doing what we did other than all the kind of hopping around. System alert. Anyway, they, these guys have got power now, so they can at least get up and down into these cargo pods or whatever if they need to. So that is something. Not sure really where I should be going next. I was thinking of going back 
to there, but we we can't strictly speaking get into the guts. So with this area I was charging through. I don't think I checked all the crates in here, however. And I definitely didn't check all the uh, corpses either. So I'm going to try and be a little systematic here. Make sure we've gotten everything. Okay, you're guessing that was one they used at break times. Uh, hacking one, we should manage that. Oh yeah, because easy hacking for the win. Because I hate the mini hacking game. I, in fact, I usually hate most mini games, but in this in this particular game, it's loathsome. Yes, it is. I absolutely don't like it. Um, but that's just me. Um, there are worse things in games. I don't like the lock picking in Skyrim either. But hey, what are you gonna do? Okay, did we check in here? Yeah, we did. Okay, any more goodies anywhere? Because we can climb a lot of the places we could not formally climb. I think that's it for that one. And there's one just here. Can we? Yeah, it'd be daft not to get in here and make proper use. Is there a back door on this one? There may be, actually. Oh, there may not. <laughs> not to worry. Hack away. of stuff yeah there was I had notes actually um, it'd be under data won't it audio logs I can't think who the hell it was from but he was bragging about oh dear what was it now yeah the, 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 he had uh, hit it three times or something three ah there you go um uh, oh play Everything go well? Eventually. Had to wait a while. Two assholes from the sales team chose that exact moment to stand under the alarm bell and smoke cigars. So it's off Talos. My clients are eager. Yeah. Just made the last shipment. Should be Earthside by morning, Pacific time. Good. I'll be leaving another package for you after tomorrow's shift. Drop site? The lobby. Assuming it works. Of course it works. Three taps of the wrench. That'll pop it open. All of them will work that way by tomorrow. You're adorable when you get proud of your gadgets. Don't patronize me, Lily. Right, but it doesn't say what I tap with a wrench. New transcribe, okay. Hey, Lane. This is Gus down in Cargo. Hey, listen, uh, did you order any reployers from Earth? Order any what? Reployer. It's a machine. A uh, machine. What does it do? Well, I'm not sure. I was hoping that you could tell me. <sighs> what? Well, is this some kind of a joke? I, I'm, I'm busy. You're an industrial designer, right? So I thought you would know. <sighs> you obviously don't understand what I do, and I didn't order any deployer. Reployer. Ask somebody in engineering. I did. I've been asking everyone. No one ordered it or knows anything about it. Weird. Well, perhaps I can come down this evening and take a look at it. That'd be great. Thanks, Lane. Yeah, no problem. That is kind of weird, isn't it? Someone arrives and nobody ordered it or knows what the hell's going on with it. That's a... A bit of a weird one, I have to say. Okay, we did check in. Everything in here should be pretty much done. Yeah, this was the guy that it looked like. You know that. So how or what do I hit three times with a wrench? And you know, I'm kind of curious. I'm morbidly curious now. 
I think these guys are safe enough for that. And that just makes it easier to get through as well if we need to come running back. So this is life support. Wants me to go there and blow it up. I want to test my theory that I can get into the guts this way. Just gotta know. You may see me saving a lot more in this episode. For some reason, the game has got very um, crashy. For want of a better word, it's, um, it's gotten very good at crashing randomly like a complete crash to desktop I've reset the all the driver mods I made like AFR2 etc I've sent everything back to the Nvidia defaults updated the Nvidia driver it seems stable again but I want to go back and retweak because AFR2 did seem to give smoother and better performance than I was getting with what ever kind of weird thing they've done. Right, this looks like a no. Station locked. Damn you, Alex, I hate you. Now, is there a sneaky way around that problem? It doesn't look like it. We get the self-destruct key and then what? Where, where, I'm assuming I'd have to go to the bridge to deal with that. And uh, we can't. So the only place it looks like I can go, in fact, is to life support. But I don't want to blow the bloody station up. There's people here, for Christ's sake. They're nowhere near Earth. Nothing's getting to Earth. I don't think the Alex that wanted to blow it up was right. And I don't think the Alex that wanted to escape was right either. Is that door... I've got maximum leverage now. Can I force this door? I don't think it's a real door. As far as the game's concerned, I don't think it is. Uh, why did we have to spin round twice then? I mean, really. What did that achieve? Okay. Looks like the only option we've got left then is... Going to life support. Which I think we have been. Did we go? Life support and power plant sounds familiar. I'm fairly sure that we have been there, actually. Could be wrong on that, but I'm fairly sure we have. Morgan, it's Mikhaila. Look. There may be a way to bypass your brother's override. It will give us access to the main lift, the airlocks. But to do it, you'll have to reboot the station. Yes, the whole station. Oh, wow. There's a panel for cutting the power in the main reactor control room. The yeah. reactor oh. should restart not long after. Should. It's the only way. I'm sending you the code to the reactor room. Oh, God. Is that a good idea? I'm not seeing any new Typhon here. It's a little bit odd. So we go to the reactor room, reboot the station. Do I want to do that? I mean, that's everything. That's life support, that's water, air pressure. What if it reboots and... You know, what if it reboots and... The gravity's not working, the, all the hatches open, and people get sucked into space. That's pretty... Ooh, I'm not sure about that one. Okay, objectives. I'm going to set that inactive, just in case it tries to make me blow the bloody station up. Hopefully it won't. Reactor control room, okay. That's a nightmare, I think. Sounded like the nightmare. What's that? Oh, for for for
Nice. It's stuck. Why is it? Okay. It just stood there. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of exotic material. There's me looking for it. And it's like, no, you may not. Uh, there was a recycler somewhere, wasn't there? I thought, I was looking up here and I thought, oh, I can see um, a technopath or telepath up here. Nope. Or well, there may still be one here, actually. Uh, yeah. Let's just... Not what I wanted it to do, but... Okay. We've got a bit of damage on it, got a bit of damage on it. Actually, we should go for full health. All right, okay. Ah, uh, no. Uh, do, do, do. Point blank, come on. Full power. Okay, that uses a lot of that now. Very, 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 very quickly. Okay, we need to be a bit more cautious. Yes, we do. Okay, there's the recycler. No, I'm, I'm not looking for little mimics anymore. I should be looking for everything else. Okay. Where the hell does it want me to go? Oh, yeah, the control room. Oh, okay. Without doubt. There is going to be something in there. I thought it was through this way. Rebooting the space station. Oh, that doesn't fill you with dread. I don't know what will. Okay, let's just double check we're all locked and loaded. Right, okay. I want to try out the wrench now. I've got the extra damage, but... I wasn't about to try it on something that big. I, think that I know you didn't visit the reactor much. You're always locked away in your workshop. But I can track you through your bracelet and guide you from here. I'm just glad she hasn't heard that recording. Just saying. That would not be good. This one, uh, Requesting new operator. This one. Technical term. Leaking. Engineering class operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. Yeah. How the hell are those neuromods still there? We went in, we picked them. Is it just. That's not. Huh. Where have you gone? Come on, I know you're here. I'm right here. Not you, I'm bloody looking for. It's that mimic somewhere. Come on, come on. Come on. running from me. I mean, seriously, it's not even trying to attack. This might sound strange coming from me, but I admire what you did. You didn't have to help Chief Elazar and her people in the cargo bay, especially considering, well, 
considering you intend to destroy the station. Yeah. You gave them some hope, even if it's brief. He really thinks I'm going to blow this place up, doesn't he? I'm right here. Sod that little thing, anyway. Oh! Now you come back. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Playing cat and mouse with this thing. Big. Answer the question. I don't want anything big coming at me. Unexpectedly. I wondered whether we'll take Phantom. Okay, and two broken turrets. So now I missed those. Oh, apparently I just knocked it over there. It's being a little bit weird. Okay, it's electrifying everything. Come on up. Come on up. Whoa! There's something else down there. There has to be. Other than that little... I can hear something big moving. Okay, where is it? It's only a phantom, only a phantom. these things? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, once it's in there... I see. Ow. Come on. Anybody? No, do I want to... Got quite a bit of stuff. Let's just. Make life a little harder for them. Yeah, actually, let's do these guys as well. That's a bit of a waste of spec. Uh, no, no. I oh, see. See, they have their uses. Sneak shot. I thought I'd got that guy. I apparently did not. Okay, so he's knocked that turret out. Have that one. Scanning target Typhon material inconclusive. Logging calibration request. Okay. Let's just take it. I'll reset it. What, 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 with the super scary? There it is again. Less scary the second time. He said. Actually feeling fairly scared. Still can't see me, so I'm getting super crits on it. Nice. From here, I hello. Can... Good to see you again, Doctor Yu. Hello. I'm just gonna internal lock. However, yeah, Alex has done that. 
Not Alex. Morg no. Yes, Alex and Morgan. Good God, man, get a grip. Probably something obvious I missed in there, however. The control call. I think we went down here, but there wasn't much to actually see. So I don't know, really, what the hell we're going to be doing with it. Is that her doing that? Sure, I've been in here. Whoa, okay. Just back up for a second and pay attention to the objectives. Right. Objectives. Reboot. I can't destroy Talos 1 without Alex's arm and key, but I'm stuck down here. Rebooting the station reactor will remove the lockdown Alex placed on the main lift and airlocks, so then I could move freely around the station. Right, okay, so that is B5, like basement 5 then. Okay, there's a grav lift, which might be a better option than dropping down, finding out there's a gazillion mimics, phantoms, nightmares, and God knows what else is down there. So, there is that. There's also some stairs. Okay, that's offline. We meant to use the step? Silly question, really. Probably not. Probably people do speed runs of this entire game in 20 minutes. I don't know. But, but you know, jumping through geometry that's broken is not really playing the game. You're playing your own game there. I'm not saying it's not a game. Okay, what was the. Can I get a better look down there? I mean, I can jump off, but I'm a bit loath to, in case I miss anything interesting on route. I mean, they must have various buildings and such on the way down, surely. That's a thing. Right. See, now I've discovered there's something down there. I mean, I could hear a bit of a whispering going on. Okay. I think the thing to do... No. Let's keep using the stairs. Probably something really cool on the pipes or something. So I don't want to go flying through this and miss out. At the same time, I'm not wanting to blow a station up when it's full of people. I mean, if the game gives... See? See what I'm getting at? It's like fast travel. You miss things. I mean, I miss things anyway. Believe me, I watch... I'm looking at this video footage when I'm editing. And... I look at it and I go, how did you miss that? How? It's so obvious. But the thing is, when you're in the game itself and playing, your, your focus isn't the entire screen. And a different person or yourself at a different moment will actually focus on different areas of the screen. So you do spot things that you didn't spot in that playthrough. See, I can do that. Where am I looking? Am I looking at the center? I might not be. I might be looking halfway up those stairs and the object everybody has seen is there. So I miss it. However, when you're editing, you're looking at it in a very different way. You're not controlling it in the way you control things in a game. You know, you're, you're scrolling back and forth, you're checking levels and darkness and do I need to put an adjustment layer on there? It's all very boring unless you're into video editing and anyone that's made you know any halfway decent stuff on YouTube will, will kind of know exactly what I'm talking about that it does take time and effort to create something you know that isn't a bit naff 
I mean, my, my first couple of videos are probably pretty naff. I tried really hard to make them cool, you know, found all these various transition effects you have in um, Adobe Premiere when it was just Adobe Premiere, the old, old version. And my system could barely run that. I mean, now it can, but it could barely run it back then. There's a big something in that bugger. Yes, there is. There's a dead guy here. Nicholas Stillwater. And I've got some access as well. Diverter? Do I need that? Maybe, maybe I do. I know it's here. I can see something type of... Uh, cystoids. Okay. So, yeah, um, the first couple of videos I ever did, I put every effect ever and then realised this would now make the rendering time five times longer. So I kind of don't do that now. I think the best editing is the editing you don't notice. If you want the truth. Dang, I hope it doesn't want me to go inside that reactor because that... Well, let's face it, that's pretty much not good. And I don't want to start throwing grenades and such at something like that. Okay, I'm going to get radiation when I go in there. Okay, I can repair that if I need to. Got his access. stuff. Cool music. Very cool music, actually. Access safety switches. Reboot reactor. Let's not do it immediately. Let's not do that immediately. Okay, they're behind the glass. They could maybe screw up everything, you know? Come on. No, didn't mean to do that. They don't drop anything, that's my big gripe with these guys. Let's eat stuff. Got tons of it. Save those med packs for emergencies when we need many, many health very quickly. Oh, still here. Whoa! Okay. Oh god, I'm staggering. I'm staggering, I'm staggering. Okay, let me just fix that. Okay. Ah. Uh, and no. We've crashed. Okay, we're back. And this is where the game last saved me. So, kind of repeating effort again here, which frankly annoys me a bit. But yeah, it's just one of those things. It could be my setup, the way SLI doesn't work quite so friendly as it might. So yeah, there's all of that. Now, I was gonna have a bit of a look around here beforehand, wasn't I? should do that. It seemed to happen when the radiation effect, the chromatic aberration or whatever the hell it is, went all over the screen. That was pretty awful. Let's uh, eat. 
It's some kind of driver coding kind of a thing. I'm going to leave the cystoids in there unless the game now tells me, no, you need to get rid of them. Let's get in here. Let's save again. Okay. Reactor emergency. Procedures. Excerpt from manual emergency procedures for the SFR 202903 sub. Uh, safety protocol switches for all main utilities must be placed in the off position. Position in the following order before initializing reactor shutdown. Magnetosphere, substation power grid, photovoltaic rings, gravity, life support, main reactor. Okay, let's not cock this up. Anti rad. Okay, safety switch. I can't. Ah. Okay, let's double check. We have this right. Why the panicky music? I'm going to take my time and get this right. Off position. Magnetosphere. And. Substation power grid. Photovoltaic rings. Who's been using that one as an ashtray? That's disgusting. It would seem we do them in the same order they're laid out, in fact. But I'm just double checking because these things can trip you up. Gravity life support main reactor. Gravity, life support, main reactor. Initiate reboot. Reactor shutdown sequence. Substation power grid offline. Photovoltaic rings offline. Life support offline. Magnetosphere offline. Offline. Main reactor full shutdown. In three, two, one. Reactor successfully shut down. Initiating main reactor ignition sequence in three, two. That voice one, sounds so three, like a Cylon from the original Magnetosphere. Warning. Battlestar Galactica. It's unbelievable. Guarding auxiliary power. Connolith. Idiot was supposed to check those diverters a week ago. I oh, oh, found it. Morgan? Don't worry. You're going to have to fix it yourself. Okay. Or find a replacement if we're that lucky. I know where there's a diverter. I know where there's a diverter. There was one up on one of the things. So I can go in there and get it. And get rid of these guys. work and this one I'm just going to suit integrity damaged okay, okay. okay let's do a bit of that and oh anti rad as well why can't that be on a hotkey Maybe I should have made more. I've only got four of these left. Diverter, diverter, diverter. Okay. Transcribe. I've loaded the replacement reactor diverters on the freight lift as requested. We found I asked them. Connolly to send them down when convenient. Radiation poisoning. Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it, but what do I do? What do I do? Okay. I could have gone and got the other one, but I thought, you know what, sod it. I wanted some revenge on those bloody things. Okay, I've got radiation poisoning again. Let's get back in here. Take an anti-rad again. 
Right away for the win. Okay. And nasties. Lots of nasties have just come in. I'm showing power to the lifts and the airlocks, but seeing a lot of power spikes and leaks in the coolant chamber. Watch yourself on the way back. There could be other structural damage. Okay. Well, I see. You reset everything. Talos One is wide open now. Clever. Reckless, but clever. It's good to see some things haven't changed. I'm not going to get in your way anymore. You deserve to hear the truth. All of it. Come up to my office. I've been to your office. Oh, God. Another Morgan, call. was that you? Whatever you did, I felt it in my gut. If this is some kind of payback... <sighs> Power's coming back online. <sighs> and that means the main lift, too. I hope. Why, then? I would do that as a, as a payback on... Uh, for what exactly? Okay, we gotta find our way out of here. Oh, hello. Can I maybe get up there? You know, as opposed to fighting everything. Kind of, maybe. Do I want to? I've got to get out of here, and it looks like I've got to fight all these guys en route. Which probably isn't going to be that easy, I don't think. 